worrying because you are blocking your blessings. Stop worrying because you are blocking your blessings. You guys, this is Pastor Dawn. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. When you are in a place of constriction, constriction is mental, emotional, spiritual, even physical constriction. Constriction is you're all bound up, you're all tight. That happens when you're in anger or frustration. This happens when you are in doubt, worry, unbelief, anxiety, panic, fear, okay? So when you are in a place of constriction, you cannot receive anything from God. Why? Because the blessing of the Lord requires a place of joy and peace. You cannot hear with your spiritual ears. You cannot hear the instruction, the strategy, the solution that God has from heaven for you if you are in a space of anxiety, fear, worry, doubt, unbelief. You have to give it to him. You have to give it to him. Let him have it. Let him keep it and let him be God. Okay? Everything that we receive from God in a supernatural sense, we receive by grace and by faith. We have to receive everything from God, including our salvation, by grace. Grace means undeserved, unearned, un not strived for, okay? So we receive all things from God by grace and by faith. Faith is the currency of heaven. To receive anything miraculous from God, you have to receive it by faith before you receive it. <laughs> you have to receive it in your mind, heart, will, and emotions before you will receive it physically, so to speak. You have to call those things that be not as though they already are. You can only do that from a place of joy and peace. So again, stop worrying because you are blocking your blessing. All right, I have just a few resources to show you real briefly, and then let's pray together. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I thank you for every person under the sound of my voice. I thank you, Father God, that you are showing them right now how to maintain a space of walking in your love, your joy, and your peace. Father God, I thank you in the name, I thank you in the name of Jesus for teaching them by your spirit how to renew their mind with the word of God. I thank you, Father God, for teaching them by your spirit how to meditate on the word of God and allow the revelation of the word of God to bring breakthrough into their lives. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every spirit of fear, doubt, worry, concern, unbelief, panic. In Jesus' name, Father God, give them grace and strength to evict all forms of fear. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of fear that is operating through you. I command every spirit of fear to flee from you in seven directions and to leave you now in Jesus' name. Father God, give them the strategy that they need to get into a space of walking in your peace, walking in your joy, walking in gratitude, walking in the light of your love because you are a good, good, good father. In Jesus' name, Lord God, I'm asking, I ask that you would open the windows of heaven for blessing upon blessing. So great that you might not be able to contain it, Father God. Pour out your love, your grace, your mercy, your kindness, your goodness, as well as provision, protection, prosperity, and every other earthly blessing that you desire for them to walk in. I pray these things for them now in Jesus' name.